Hi guys, uh, today we're going to be watching uh, Andrew Takes, I know a lot of you have been waiting and the video is The Matrix, don't want you to know this so thank you to this guy that's actually told us to do this suggestion and uh, make sure you subscribe and like because uh, we're now doing a giveaway and we're also getting to Road 2000 I don't know why I struggled uh, also, we have been trying to do the Amigo uh, video. Um, we've been literally we tried the Amigo TV one and then the normal one, and it just won't work, and we don't know why. So please don't be mad at us. So we're going to be going live in a couple of days. So uh, be ready for that, and then you can actually explain how to work it for us. Make sure you click the link in the uh, description to support us, as that would mean very much to us. Yeah. Do you ever look around you and just look at the world and feel like, kind of like we're in the matrix, like there's something missing? Do you think that's like the government making those decisions? Way above them. Like that's what I mean, like who do you think is they? There are people who've been in charge of the world for quite a long time. And people at the bottom just don't seem to get it. They don't seem to wake up. And they don't seem to wake up because the people in charge try very hard to keep them asleep. You're constantly distracted by everything. You are done. You are now full slave mode. And that's all they want. It's, it's always been the same playbook. It's absolutely incredible that people are not awake enough to see what's fucking happened. I struggle to sleep at night. Like literally what's happening is fucking crazy. A lot of people out here, it still amazes me. They believe the government care about them. What the government wants is slaves. This is what, this is, slavery is not gone anywhere, right? So the old school idea of slavery, let's talk about slavery. A government would get slaves, make them work for free and build things. That's slavery. So they've stopped doing that now. So what do they do now? They get people, make them build things for money, but the government print all the money. So if a government can create as much as they want of something from thin air, and you'll give up your life for this thing they can create from thin air as much as they want, you are still their slave. <laughs> That's it. You used to be a slave and you'd work all day and at the end you got food in the house. Now you work all day, you get money and you spend all your money on a food and a house. Like nothing, nothing, slavery is still here, my friends. Nothing's changed, right? Nothing's changed. And what they want is they want slaves. They want slaves who are gonna comply and pay their taxes. And whatever kind of indoctrination or societal program- I'm sorry if I actually do agree with that. Did, like you are, your life's already mapped out for you whether you realize it or not. And you are kind of just a name and a number. And I do believe what he says is true, to be honest. You ain't got any point on that? No. Do you believe in it? Yeah. Generally, he has got a point with what he's saying. Programming, they can instill inside of people <laughs> and keep them doing that. They're going to do anything it takes to stop people waking up and realizing, whoa, the government's fucking me here. Let's forget Corona. Let's forget locking us all in our houses and taking our business away. I'm paying how much tax? What? They're, they're, they're helping me how much? If you actually wake up and look around you, you realize you're being destroyed in real time. The idea that government cares about them is a lie. The government is never gonna tell you anything that's gonna wake you up. The government's gonna teach you things that are gonna make you subservient and compliant. They're gonna tell you all this crap about identifying as a panda and all this other shit is not an accident. When they can convince the average person on the street to pretend that some other person is a panda because they said so, you are fully in the slave mindset. Every single one of us to some degree is an empty vessel. We're all programmed. There's no such thing as escaping the slave mind. You must just to some degree understand who is programming you and understand if you really want those characteristics. Most people are repeating uh, opinions. And I'm saying, where did you get that opinion from? They can't remember where they got it from. They don't know who even told them. They don't know why they so fervently believe in it. They're just yeah. told they're programmed. You need to genuinely analyze your brain, defrag every single opinion you strongly have and identify where it came from and if that person has your best interest at heart. And what they're trying to do, especially with young men, is program them because we're all empty vessels. And what you have to do as an adult, as a parent, is to program your child stronger than all of society. Mm. It's not an easy job because all of society from the YouTube videos to the TV shows to the school, every single thing is trying to program them in one direction. You have to combat that and that's not an easy job. And if you just sit there and get lazy about it, you will fucking lose. When Rome was losing, all they did was have endless circuses keep you distracted from the losing war. The, the world we live in today, they try very hard to prevent you from creating your reality. <laughs> constantly distracted by everything. And it's hard to focus on nearly anything. 
And, and they do that on purpose, because for you to go stand out in the rain and protest, that takes focus. They want you distracted. They want arguments in the household. They want blacks to hate the whites, Republicans to hate the Democrats. They want us all arguing with each other, for all of us to hate our neighbor, and us all to be so distracted and selfish and self-absorbed that we can't think beyond ourselves. That's what they're trying to do to us, and it's absolutely and utterly work. There's, a very, there's very few of these people, and look what they've fucking done to the entire world. It's absolutely insane. And you're existing inside of a system. He's literally telling the truth. To make the rich. Like we said re originally, you know, you know, to do with Corona, how they didn't really tell you the in depth. They just told you people are dying. Stay inside. Yeah, they that tried to scare enough. you. Obviously, don't get wrong, people were dying and stuff like that. But the way they came about it, but they were controlling you in some aspects because you'll be scared to walk out your door because you're gonna get Corona and die. Do you know what I mean? So, what were you going to say? I can't remember. Did your brain just like I stop? I can't remember. Yeah, you know? I can remember. Um, but I think when we were in lockdown and they were like, people are dying of corona, people are dead, people are dead. I don't think most of those people died of corona. I think they died of a common cold because that just happened. Or and natural that's just causes. Not that's just not put out in the world. People do die of the flu. People do die of the cold, you know? And I reckon that they were dying of normal stuff, but because this whole new virus was about... It was scary. It was put down as corona. Yeah, and it was scary. And you were hearing it every day on the news about deaths and stuff like that. Like, like I said in the previous one, with my health issues, I was really worried about getting corona itself because of the fear it got put into me um but yeah luckily i was okay obviously for some people it's not the case and that is sad but the way the government are you are controlled and that's what we're trying to say and we do agree with him sure and for the poor to stay poor and for you can sit there and get upset about it you can sit there and cry about it and say the system needs to change which is what some people do but i think <laughs> it's not i think i know that's a waste of time right that's futile the best thing to do is to understand the rules of the game and find a way to win so yes, the game is rigged. Yes, the richer are always gonna get richer. Yes, the poor are always gonna struggle. And that's the way the game is set up. So you still need to find the best move on the chessboard. There's no point sitting there saying, I wanna play a different game because that's never gonna happen. I was having a conversation with someone the other day. They were talking about Joe Biden and his relief checks. He gave out $1,400 to all the people in America because of Corona. And he's saying, don't you think he's good that he's helping the poor? I said, you think that helps the poor? Let's, let's talk about this. You give 100 people a $1,400 check, right? Everyone understands you can't just leave it in the bank forever because of inflation. The value goes down because what happens when they print trillions of dollars from the sky, the dollar becomes less valuable. And now we're living in a world right now where inflation's getting out of control, especially in America, right? In the last year, inflation's up like six, 7%. So no poor person is gonna take that money and just leave it in the bank. They're gonna either spend it or invest it. Let's say there's a hundred poor people and the hundred poor people spend their money. What do they spend it with? Businesses. Who owns businesses? <laughs> Rich people. Amazon, their stock price went up 30%. Why? Because people are getting stimulus checks and spending it on Amazon. It all went to the rich guy. And then they go, oh yeah, but what about if they invest it? Invest it where? Invest it in the stock, the stock market? That increases the stock price. Who owns the company? Rich people. You've made them richer. What if you, what if you and all your Literally, poor friends, back. 20 poor friends, it'd be more than 20, 200 poor friends, put all your money in together and bought one house between you. That still takes one house off the market and raises the property value of that area. Who already owns those expensive houses? Rich people. You can't stop making the rich richer. You cannot stop it. People inside the matrix don't understand what's happening. And they're gonna sit there and go, but the government cares about me. You gave me $1,400. The government doesn't give a shit about you. The government is looking after its friends. The government gave all the slaves a little bit of pocket money so they can send it all to the rich guys. It's all a scam. Even, even when I was going to school and they're sitting there going, you're not gonna get a good job if you don't get good grades. I was the one sitting there going, you're a liar, shut up. I just knew the teacher was lying. I knew school was bullshit. I knew college was bullshit. I knew university was a lie. I always knew it was a trick and a con. I didn't truly understand things to the level I understand them now. But I had an interest. Talking facts. Literally, literally, you're, literally you're taking, taking, literally saying facts right now. And it's three in the morning. I never went to uni. Pulls up and a guy gets out of it. You're thinking criminal, drug dealer, gangster. Yeah. You're not thinking, ah, he has a uni degree. Because you you know, you're not going to think that. So when you see money, <laughs> people don't even associate the money they see with university. But then they go, I want to make money so I'm going to university. It doesn't make sense. So school's a scam. And it's the biggest scam on earth. The reason it's a scam is because it operates in a vacuum. It operates in a vacuum because it cannot be fairly compared to any other service. 
So you can get a loan for school, but you can't use that money for anything else. Because if they were to open it up and put the school, the education system into the fair market of capitalism, it would fail. If I were to give you a hundred grand and say, you can get a degree or you can buy a crypto or you can start your own business or you can do anything you want with it. Who's going to choose a degree? Nobody. So they say you can only get the money if you use it for education, which allows it to operate inside of a vacuum. Because it operates inside of a vacuum, it is one of the few things on the planet which is allowed to be non-competitive. It's not competitive against any other investment. Everyone knows that. But you can only get the money for that. So you can't get the money to invest in anything else. So you end up doing it, learning something that is outdated, slow to learn. There's more, it doubly inflates. There's more degrees every single year, meaning the value of a degree decreases and the price goes up every single year. So it's worth less each year. It costs more year on year. There's no other industry where you can even get away with that. You get wrecked, except for the educational system. I think everybody knows that the system and the path they lay out for you is not a, a, a path that's gonna lead to where you wanna be. And I didn't know what the other path was, but that intrinsic <laughs> distrust for the system and that distrust for the things they wanted me to do made me search for other avenues. And then I found them, right? And if you speak to the people who are richest, if you speak to the people you know, this is for everyone at home as well, if you speak to the people you know who have the most money and go up to them and say, hey, what made you rich? None of them say school. It's, it's bullshit, right? So it's all indoctrination. So I, I knew it was indoctrination. And for that reason, I was always searching. And if you're searching, you're gonna find. I think freedom is being destroyed in real time. Even before Corona, freedom is being destroyed. You, we, if, if you look at even very basic things, right? Like freedom of speech. If a man isn't free to say what he thinks in the way he wants to say it, if political correctness or hate speech or whatever, whatever, if a man can't even express himself the way he thinks it, is he free? You know? And what they do first is they restrict your speech because if they restrict your speech, then they can start to restrict your thoughts. If you're not allowed to ever say it, then you're probably not gonna think it so often. This is why it's done on purpose. <laughs> so I don't think that society is very free at all. And I think that in, in regards to keeping our employment, keeping our money coming in, making sure we don't lose our social medias. Every single person has to censor themselves to some degree. And I try very, very best to skirt that line, you know, as far as possible. So I feel free. Freedom is the ability to scream when you want to scream, be angry when you want to be angry, smile when you want to smile, say what you want, do what you want. And, and that's a very, very rare commodity in the modern world. That's extreme. He's got a point because like on TikTok, you're very restricted, like on social media, you are very restricted. Like the other day, we I put up a video of I was reacting to Andrew Tate and apparently that was a violation and I don't get how that was when he was on about what he spends his money on and then what I spent, what we spent our money on and I didn't understand why it got blocked. It doesn't make sense when there's worse people off putting filth on it that don't even get their videos taken down but the second we put up a video about Andrew Tate, it got blocked. It doesn't even make sense. You have to always abide by their rules on social media. So, again, I do agree with what he's saying. I think I spent about 250 grand. That's hot, man. I'm not the average man. I was a loser. It's a genuine question because when I sit here and insult you guys, what I'm not you? trying to... That's not that much. I mean, I only just spent 20 quid in Primark. Yeah, I, I spent... I spent two pound in, um, in the pound shop. I went to Greg's and cut some... <laughs> See, we all can relate, innit? <laughs> yeah, I spent about £20 as well. <laughs> right, anyway. Oh, oh, my God. Once you escape the matrix and you try and find a way to get your wealth outside of the system, then you can exist geographically anywhere. And once you can do that, then laws don't really apply to you. If they made a law in the UK I was unhappy with, I'd just leave. And if they made a law in Romania where I live I'm unhappy with, I would just leave. I don't, have to, I don't have to be a lawbreaker. I don't have to be a, a criminal. I'll just go somewhere else, right? It's like in chess, they say, uh, good moves come from good positions. It's true. You can't find a good move from a terrible position, right? If you're sitting at home with no money, it's hard to invest in Bitcoin at a dollar. It doesn't matter what it goes to, right? You gotta be in a good position to take advantage of things. So you've always gotta be in a position where you have a good network, you have good information, you have some kind of liquid money, mm. you have the ability to survive without that money, you can take a risk. Like it's hard to set yourself up. I'm in a position now where I'm I'm in the NBA. I'm, I'm an NBA player, I can never go broke again. So it doesn't matter, right? Once you're in the NBA, you can I can throw a million dollars or something, it doesn't matter if it works or not. Mm. So for me, it doesn't, doesn't make a difference. And that's why it's so much easier. They always say the first million is the hardest and they're completely right. Once you get to a certain point, you can just, you can gamble to a degree, yeah. right? You know what's amazing? Lots of, now I have money, lots of people always ask me, how do I get rich? And I say, when's the last time you've talked about money? 
When's the last time you sat down with your friends and refused to talk about anything else but how to make money? How are you making money? How are you making money? How am I making money? How can we make money together? How's that guy making money? How's that coffee shop there making money? Is that coffee shop making money? I don't know, do they sell cake? No, why don't they sell cake? Everyone in here is a businessman. If they had a, a cute young waitress, a girl, instead of a guy, they'd probably sell more coffee. Like no one analyzes anything. They just want to get rich, right? I want to be rich, but they have no plan to get rich. And a hope and a plan are very different things. I explain this to people all the time. Everyone has a dream, but no one has a plan. And nothing good is going to happen on accident, right? I didn't become world champion on accident. I didn't wake up and someone go, how'd you become world champion? And I went, oops, <laughs> you, you have to plan for it. So I said to Tristan, we need to discuss money. We need to plan this and we need to work out a way we can get rich. And that's when I started analyzing and understanding banks and the, the, the credit system and the money system, how the world actually works. And then I got really pissed off because I realized that money isn't real and it's all a scam. <laughs> and that the <laughs> banks are destroying us in real time with inflation. And I still don't have any. And I also very, very much understood that as soon as you stop pushing forward, as soon as you go stagnant, you're dying, right? As soon as you stay in one place, you're slowly on the way down. I was under enormous pressure. I, I didn't think, oh, I have plenty of money now. It was the complete opposite. I wanted to work harder, more hours. I found the tap. Bro, if, if there was a golden tap that, that, that unlimited money and you had buckets and you took one bucket of money, would you just take that bucket or would you run back and get another bucket and run back? And, yeah, and run? Yeah. I couldn't stop, I couldn't sleep. I'd wake up to go piss at three in the morning, <laughs> take a piss and by the time I finished pissing, I'd be like, I've slept three hours, that's enough. And wake the chicks up and put them back online. I couldn't get out of my brain because I saw that I'd replaced fighting, which I loved with this. And this was my chance to escape the matrix. Bro, this has been inside of me since as, as, as early as I can remember. I remember walking to sixth form college. I was 16 or 17 with my four friends and a Ferrari burnt past us. I said to my, my boys, I was like, man, how'd that guy get that car? And they're like, don't know. I was like, doesn't that annoy you? I'm like, why would it annoy me? Because we're going to school, our parents are on council estates. Like we're, we're trying to scrape 20 pounds a week to, to eat. This dude has 400 grand for a car. Doesn't that aggravate you? Doesn't that show you that there's something about the world you do not understand? That you're missing something. And they're all like, not really. I was never that guy. I was pissed off for weeks because I saw some dude in his Ferrari. Do you understand? I was like, no, I have to. So now when I push my Ferrari, I'm like, this is the full circle. This is the universe giving me what I've always been manifesting. Man, I can tell you stories now that even sound stupid to me. I went to Deauville, France to fight for a world title. And I was sitting there and the promoter hadn't turned up yet. And I ordered two waters, two Perrier. And they came and they were like nine euro each. And I paid for them. And I said to Tristan, 20 quid for fucking water. Because we're, we're brokies. <laughs> we're like, and he's like, yeah, that's crazy. And, and, and we look around and there's all these tables just with water, champagne, food, da, da, da. you know, like a thousand dollar lunches, thousand yeah, yeah, pound yeah. lunches, no one gave a shit, right? And we're sitting there going, where are we going wrong with life? So I always knew it. I was always around it, especially through fighting. I went to, to a bunch of crazy countries, Kazakhstan, all these places. We're in Kazakhstan, a poor country. It's just G-Wagon, 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 G-Wagon. I'm like, what the, what's going on? Like, there are people who are living outside the matrix. And once you live outside of it, once you get to a certain level of incomes and wealth, everything becomes free. Like the, when I was looking at the price of that water, no one else in that restaurant even looked at the price of anything. It didn't matter. And that's what I'm like now. I don't know the price of anything I eat or buy. So I always knew that that kind of life existed. I used to talk with my brother about it all the time. I was like, bro, we're something wrong. Something doesn't add up. <laughs> we're still thinking in terms of like make money, spend money, money in the bank. It doesn't, there's people who are living for free and they just point at things and they get everything they want. My brother used to call me crazy. He's like, what are you talking about? I was like, no, there's the matrix. We're inside the system. We need to escape. And now I managed to find a way out. So I always knew it existed. I was always looking for it. So you're talking about what's going to happen. I, I think that as, 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 my, as wealth starts to flee the West, there's going to be serious issues. That's scary shit. Scary shit, bro. But I might be wrong. Who knows? I'm some crazy no, I think kid. It, I, I agree. Oh, I yeah. think some. I just feel some crazy shit's coming. Like yeah. people are just getting more and more. And Divided, polarized. the government's the getting blocked, crazier and crazier. Blocked, everything's but they polarize us on purpose. Like, yeah. I, I, I'm i not gonna. I think it's gonna come to a complete. Something crazy is coming. And now they've been arrested. Reset. For humanity to ever get back to. True, but How the problem is, is the, total, the total reset. I have no idea. The total re I think the total, in our lifetime. But this is the problem. The whoever is powerful enough to construct a total reset will construct it in a way that we have even less freedom than we've ever had.
we didn't hardly talk. It's because we were mesmerised by what he was saying. It was kind of mind-blowing, wasn't it? Because he does have the facts and he knows his stuff. Literally, you can't not agree with it. But I'm just baffled by something crazy's come in. Yeah, I know. And they were arrested to look for evidence because the government knows he's powerful. Yeah, he's got a powerful mind and powerful words and people don't like it when people speak. That's the problem. We're all put into a box and restricted. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe and comment down below what I'd like to see next. Um, remember to check out our Patreon in the description below and check out the video explaining the rules on the giveaway that's happening on February 18th. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. I did that so perfect. Yeah, I know. And my mind, honestly, you know, when he speaks, I just like going to a, like a tunnel vision, like, wow. I know, for real, for real. <laughs> make it make sense.